Biden <laughs> debates himself. Roll it. Thanks for your leadership for this organization. You're right. I'm a county guy. You know, one of the things for real is that Ugh. one of the things you learn. You know, he's lying, though. Start off, and he I just had said the it. great honor of being a uh, county council person in the blank. Newcastle County. We have, we're like a miniature uh, Illinois. What I learned early on. Add that to the if shirt. If you're in the county, you got to go through someone else to get help. Yeah. You got to go to the governor. You got to go to your state legislature. You got to go to the state senators. And guess what? I stopped that. Because I'm telling you, you know, because uh, I bought everybody. One of the off. things that we expect people to do is we think that uh, people are like us, very familiar with all the detail of uh, this working, <laughs> very familiar with all the detail of how government works. They don't know whether there's a pothole in, in their in their front in their, in their side street, in his brain, it's a county, a state. Uh, uh, they don't know who's responsible. You find out, you're, you, you, you know, it's just hard. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that I found out early on was, I think it's one of the hardest jobs. No, I really mean it. I'm not being solicitous. I uh, <laughs> ran for the United States Senate because fitting. being in the county council was too hard. But anyway, look, the, uh, some of you know, uh, as I s said, I started I as a councilman in Delaware and uh, the county executive in Newcastle County is yeah, here today, is. Matt Meyer. Matt, where are you sitting? Hey. Matt's hiding because, you know, how good, I'm a kid, Matt. Good to see you, pal. And uh, Matt knows uh, what I'm talking about. And by the way, one of the things <laughs> that I wrote, wrote down, I had lunch with the vice president. He's today, the one. And I keep little note cards about what I think we have to do. And I said, <laughs> we have to pass legislation on the damaging technology that's having an effect on our kids. We've got to change the way the internet works and the way people can are able to well, use works. our children. And as part of the unity agenda in the State of the Union, I call for a surge in resources to deal with fentanyl, the fentanyl epi epi epidemic. And we're rebuilding the, the, the country through the bipartisan infrastructure law. We helped build a new bridge <laughs> over, the, great. Uh, over, the, over the Holly River. Oh. Look, in, in Warsaw, <laughs> or excuse me, Washoe County in Nevada. With the leadership of Vice President Harris, we're partnering with you to deliver affordable high-speed internet to every single household. So no parent has to sit in the McDonald's parking lot, for God's sake. For decades, we imported projects and exported jobs because cheaper jobs overseas. And everything got lost. They just picked up and took off overseas. Today's and... report on inflation shows the good news is that inflation in America is continuing to come down. My plan, I refer to as a blue-collar blueprint to rebuild America. You may have seen the spirit of debate in my State of the Union address. <laughs> it was kind of fascinating. I felt like I was back in a playground. Some of my Republican yeah, friends in Congress, not all of them, but some of them, have been threatening to hold your economy hostage if we don't cut Medicare and Social Security. And one of the big mistakes I made as a U.S. Senator, and it was well intended, like a lot of things, like the nuns you say, I mean, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. You know, one of the good intentions I voted with Bill Clinton is still a good friend to say that no corporate man and no corporate president could make more than a million dollars from the profit of their, from, from the corporation they ran. He has no idea what he's saying. And I incentivized everybody to get paid by, by, stock, by stock buybacks. So 90, I think it's 91% of all corporate execs oh. are paid by st in stock. Well, what's the one way to increase your salary? Buy back your stock. It raises the price of the stock. He's so illiterate. Raises the value. <clears throat> and the shareholders, and you do well, but guess what? <clears throat> you end up not investing in the uh, on the thing you're engaged in. None I didn't know years ago what a stock buyback Zero was. Zero of that is true. Zero. You had the oil companies. You know how much they made in profit this year? How much? Two hundred billion dollars in the middle of an energy crisis. A million trillion. Yeah. Because they bought back their stock, and they're not investing in refineries, repairing them, or maintaining Why should they? them. You said you're going to shut them down. Now they're saying, and there's a legitimate <laughs> argument they make. They say. Biden, you want to go all, uh, you, you want to go green, and in 10 years we won't need this. Well, guess what? We're going to need oil for a long time, and gas for a long time. It's not going to go all go away. <laughs> you just but said the state of the union. Look at all the refineries that are closed.
because they're not investing in the nature of the business they're involved in, is one example. Why should they? You, you the said point you is shut this. Down. I believe we can be fiscally responsible without threatening to send our country into chaos. I believe it because we've been doing it. So let's finish the job. We're seeing the effects. It's going to change people's lives. LOL of the day, G. <laughs> Roll it. Where the president's communications are concerned, and I'm asking it because you work on his communications team, you're a professional communicator. Um, there is obviously a variety of settings the president can employ. Set pieces, impromptu remarks, teleprompter, no teleprompter, etc., etc. Is it the view of the president's communications team that he is equally adept in all settings in terms of communications, or are there some that play to greater strengths, or some where he probably isn't as strong, etc.? I will tell you this, the president is the best communicator that we have in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> that's saying a lot. Oh, <laughs> that's that's, not, cool. that's not a very high bar she set there. And we just gave you five and a half minutes of why that's uh, that's true. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's the best communicator they got, clearly. Wow. As we just proved to you, and we do every night in Crazy Town. <laughs> he's the best communicator we got. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we no, know. No, we nothing. Don't. Say nothing. 